What's up, CYN Esports? This is Eric with another devotional. Um, before I begin, I wanted to say that um, we would normally have a Fortnite Friday this Friday, but because of the holiday weekend and some scheduling conflicts, we're not going to do that. We're going to move it to the following Friday, so we'll be in touch with that. But thank you for your patience. But I wanted to um, to share a devotional for this week. Again, it comes from Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. And this one is called, uh, Don't Let Other People Decide Who You Are, Only God Gets to Name Us. And the scripture comes from John 15, 15, which says, I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my Father, I have made known to you. And this is what Bob has to say to us today. Um, the nicknames we were given as kids often stick with us our entire lives. Sometimes the nicknames are given to us in jest or bear no resemblance to us. For instance, the basketball center called Shorty or the football linebacker called Tiny. Other times they can be spot on. When we're most innocent and vulnerable, we sometimes l latch onto the worst labels, then carry them with us wherever we go. These aren't labels others give us in jest, they're names we give ourselves through our pain. Some of us, it's, for some of us, it's self-effacing names we give ourselves about our weight or our intelligence. For others, it's about where we lived or how much money our parents had or didn't have. So many of us were labeled by whatever it was that made us stand out, and the label stuck with us like duct tape and continues to define us today. Our Creator cleared it up for us, though. When Jesus called Peter a rock after he had failed, he demonstrated that many of these labels we've given ourselves just aren't true. They're lies masquerading as reality. When you find yourself calling yourself by a name that just isn't true, remember what God calls us. He calls us his beloved. We're all different, not just a little bit different, but wonderfully and sometimes dra dramatically so. God chose to put different parts of his image inside every single person, so we all reflect him in unique ways. Not so we would ricochet off each other, but so we could refract his light in us in wonderfully colorful ways. What made you stand out as unique might be the thing that God wants to use to show what he looks like to the rest of the world. What people use to tear you down is something God wants to use to build you up. The swirls that made that make marbled stone so unique are also the points of greatest weakness. Don't let your uniqueness break you. Don't let your failures define you. Don't give or receive names God never had for you. The critics don't get the final word on God's kingdom. God gets to tell us who we are, and he says that we are loved. Not just a little, not just for a while, but from here to eternity, and back. The next time you hear the old tapes that make you feel unworthy, remember that God, that the God who spoke the universe into existence, who hears the thoughts you don't speak out loud, says you're beloved and you're his. That's his name for you. And the question is, what nickname have you given yourself or been given by others that has hurt your sense of worth? It's an interesting question, and it's a really awesome uh, truth that God calls us beloved. He doesn't call us our nicknames. He doesn't call us things that are, are hard or hurtful, but he loves us so much. I want to encourage you as you're out there in the esports world to be kind and loving to others, to uh, remember that each person that you're playing with, even if they don't even know it, even if their actions are pretty rude, that each person is beloved by God and loved by God and known by God and they may not be living their best life they may not be living their best self yet but I just pray that it, as you play and interact with so many other people out in the world that you would uh, treat them with respect and dignity and that you would love them as much as you possibly can so I encourage you to uh, to do that this time and we'll be in touch about Fortnite Friday which will be the following Friday, not this Friday, but the next one. And um, we encourage you as well to put your prayer requests in the, in the comments. If you haven't done that yet, just summon a little boldness and put it in the Discord. We'd love to hear from you and pray for you. We love you, and, and we uh, can't wait to see you online soon.
All right, God bless. Bye.